wood breaking. We will begin with the star. Hold the star as shown, slightly bend your wrist. In one motion, bring your arm back, twist your body, and slightly bend your wrist on the release. Hold the sharpened star with the blade facing the target. Look at your target, focus on your target, then throw. Hold a four-pointed star as shown. Don't push as you release, strike as you release. Hold the small four-pointed star as shown. Again, one motion, arm, body, and wrist. Next is the hook-pointed star. This star must rotate to be able to strike its target. To do this, bend your wrist further back at the start of your throw. You can also practice with two stars. Bring two stars together and throw. You can also practice throwing from the side. Once you've become proficient with one eye closed, you can move to being blindfolded. You can further improve your accuracy by throwing into an apple. Next, blindfolded. Next we have throwing the axe. During throwing, the axe handle can be easily broken. You should reinforce your handle to keep it intact. Throw the axe down and outward without spinning the axe. Next, throw the axe out in front without spinning the axe. Throwing the axe from the side. Watch carefully that the axe is not spinning. Next we have backhand throwing. Again you must keep the axe from spinning. First always look at your target, focus on your target. In one motion bring your arm back, turn your body, and throw. With long distance throws your axe will spin. Blindfolded throw. The axe is a very dangerous weapon. Always be very careful when practicing for safety for yourself as well as those around you. Next, throwing the head of the axe. Hold as shown. Sharpened edge facing forward. Throw down and outward. Keep it from spinning. Again, hold as shown. Forward throwing. Keep the axe from spinning. Hold as shown. 
side throwing. In one motion, bring your arm back, twist your body, and throw. Keep the weapon from spinning. Again, hold as shown. Backhand throwing. Continue to keep the weapon from spinning. For distance throwing, hold the weapon as shown. In one motion, bring your arm back, twist your body, and throw, this time causing the weapon to rotate. Next, blindfolded. Next we have the nunchuck. Striking the head of your human target, spin the nunchuck overhead and throw. When you first begin this technique, practice from a short distance without the blindfold. Once you've become proficient, strike a target on the head. First start this technique from a short distance and without the blindfold. Also wood breaking. Next we have the sigh. Grab the handle, bring your arm back, turn your body and throw. Keep the weapon from spinning. First start your practice on a box. Keep your weapon from spinning. Also practice backhand strikes and side strikes, again keeping the weapons from spinning. Throwing both weapons at the same time, long distance throwing, grab the blade, bring your arm back and cause the weapon to rotate. Watch closely, bring your arms back, bending your wrists back further, and throw. You can also practice striking with one of the shorter blades. You can also throw both weapons from one hand. Downward throwing. Remember, short distance, don't make the weapon spin. Blindfolded. Next we have the comma. Bring your arm back, twist your body and throw. The blade is facing your target. Again, from a short distance, don't make the weapon spin.
Long distance, continue to keep the blade towards your target and cause the weapon to rotate. You can also throw both weapons from one hand. Also both weapons at the same time. Next, blindfolded. Next we have the knife. Hold the knife as shown. Hand back, twist the body, and strike. Don't make the knife spin. Hold the knife further back on the handle. Holding for backhand throwing. Watch closely the motion of the throw. Hold the knife as shown to spin the knife and also for distance throws. Gradually move your distance back. Once you become proficient with the throws, you can do it blindfolded. You can also practice striking a moving apple. Also you can practice three knives throwing into a pumpkin. From a further distance, two knives into a pumpkin. Next, practice on a moving pumpkin. Next, we have a card. For example, a credit card. Grab as shown, with the point facing your target. Throw the credit card, cause it to spin. Before any weapons attack, you can strike the attacker to knock them off balance and make them confused. Then you can use any defense technique. Next, striking the hand of a gun attacker. Gun is being aimed at someone else. Practice your power and accuracy by throwing into a pumpkin. You can also throw two cards. Next, you can use three cards. Practice striking the ball on top of the human target. 45 degree credit card throw. All weapons must be practiced from a short distance at first. Then, as you become more proficient, gradually increase your distance. <laughs>